what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more demon slayer reactions today we're going to be doing episodes six and seven if you guys don't know what's going on um you know i have privated the first five episodes um because i've yet to get a chance to to re-upload them i'm going to re-upload them in our regular format that we've been using before without the footage being on youtube because i received the copyright strike for this anime so from now on there will be no i talked about it in a live stream that i did a couple days ago so if you have not checked that out to hear what my opinion is on this copyright stuff when it comes on to anime tv shows whatever um and the reactions to it you can go and check that out it's two it's a two hour you don't have to watch all of it um i wish i could cut out the parts and you know um, one of these days i might just do that just cut it up and put it up on youtube for you guys to understand um where i'm coming from when it comes on to copyright and stuff like that uh because i think i explained myself very well during that live stream but in any case we're jumping in now um back to the old format no f no footage at all on youtube but you do still get the link to go and watch my reaction okay um um you know hopefully this this channel will thrive because of what i do if anything you know what i'm saying um i'm glad that at this point youtube is not my main source of income um i mean they're not they're not paying me that much anyways you know you know what i mean like it you know i'm getting paid by youtube like every six six like every six months i get a check because that's how long it takes me to make a hundred dollars on youtube it's you know so but I know as the channel grows, things will change or one day something will take off that I do on the channel and it'll make the channel um, in front of, put the channel more in front of more eyes. But for now, we're just here. We're just building the catalog. But anyways, let's talk about Tanjiro and his sister. You know, um, he has passed the exam. Now he's legitimately a demon slayer. Now he's going to go out on his first assignment as a de as a member of the demon slayer core now i'm looking forward to this because um i want to see what he does in a i mean he's been in real situations but this is a mission mission you know um i'm guessing they send them out based on rank because there's rank um there's a ranking system in the demon slayer core so i'm looking forward to seeing um if they it they must have levels to the demons too, right? Because I think they mentioned that before, that there's levels to the demons, demons who who can do certain things and do certain things and, you know, some that can't do that certain thing. So I'm looking forward to see how they rank them. And also, I'm looking forward to, um, to seeing more people from the demon slayer court this is mr guy that showed up it was like oh more children and i'm like you know um so i have five more children i think he said five more children because it's like five of them passed so i don't know who this guy is i don't you know so i'm looking forward to meet to meeting who this person is whenever they show him the rest of the season but <laughs> whatever the situation is i'm looking forward to it but right now let's go watch these episodes and i will see you guys right back here for the review All right, so Kibutsuji Muzan, I think that's his name. That was the name of the of episode seven. That was the title of episode seven. This demon. So I want to talk about this demon a little bit here because he looked like he's the founder. He was the first human to turn into a um into he, first human to turn into a demon. So I understand that aspect coming from, you know, Tanjiro's teacher, um, him telling him about this demon that he's basically the founder of all demons. So he's kind of like the, the, the Dracula, the Drake of the demon world, you know, it's kind of like what Drake is the vampires. So same concept here. I'm, I, I'm imagining. So 
when it comes on to this character now, um, obviously, he's OP. Because no other demon is scratching, just scratch a human. And they turn into, you know, a demon. Like, literally less than 10 seconds later. That's crazy. So, his power is overwhelming. I'm, when it comes on to Morphin, he's probably the most advanced. Because he's the founder. So, his blood is probably, like, super potent when it comes on to transferring and all of that stuff. Like, so I'm guessing it's the same concept here. You know what I'm saying? I'm um, getting a lot of Blade vibes with this anime, to be honest. I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest. But, you know, I, but a lot of Blade. I'm not saying it's the same thing, but I'm getting a lot of references. A lot of reference from, you know, the Blade. If you ever read the Blade comics or even watched the movies, you know, um, getting the kind of same, the same kind of vibes from this anime. The meaning, the lore. It's a little, you know, what I'm saying, uh, kind of like the same, but a little different in the same, in the in in the same same in the same, it's in the same avenue, but not in the same lane. Let's let's call it that. <laughs> I don't know what that what I don't know what that means, but it, it, um, I'm pretty sure you get my meaning. But when when it comes on to animes that are trying to tell a story like this, right? And now we've we introduced we got introduced early to the big bad. Right. I mean, we're seven episodes in and we've already been introduced to basically the founder of demons. Right. And who knows the countless humans. What surprised me the most was the fact that he has a family with humans, not so he can even fool them. Like, how did he have a kid? That's not a demon. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's got to be a story behind that that we don't know about, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, did he have this family before he became a demon? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows how long ago um, this thing has been going on? But that wouldn't be plausible. That wouldn't be plausible. To be honest, now that I think about it, that wouldn't be plausible because they've been around for a very long time. Seems like they've been around for generations, so... It wouldn't make sense for him. How do you have a human kid? You're a demon. How do you get a human kid if it wasn't like... You get what I'm saying? Did he turn... Did he turn them and then turn them back? You know what I'm saying? Does he... Does he has the power? Does he have the power to turn demons back into human? You know what I'm saying? Like... So... I mean... Teacher did tell him that he's the only person that probably knows how to do it. So there's a possibility that he knows. But there's more to it. I'm just speculating here. I'm just speculating, just grinding my gears, trying to see where the narrative is going. Um, I definitely understand um, certain things that are going on in the anime when it comes on to, to Storm. That, that demon was scared shitless of this dude. So... If a demon that advanced, which is he's not super advanced, but, you know, he's a morphed demon. So for him to be that afraid of Muzan, as I'm going to call him, it's very intimidating. And, you know, the, the fact that um, Tanjiro hesitated when he realized he had a family, that's probably going to cause a problem. You know what I'm saying? That's probably going to cause a problem because he Muzan realized that he was a demon slayer, but he was playing it off like he didn't know. So now Tanjiro going to have to deal with the outbreak. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have to deal with this outbreak, um, you know, and I'm pretty sure by the time he finished dealing with it, dude is going to be out. He going to be gone because he don't he obviously he don't want to deal with that type of stuff in front of his family. But now he knows what Tanjiro looks like. So he might just go look for Tanjiro. You know what I'm saying? And now Tanjiro got that sent down pat. So he's supposed to be able to track him. But if I don't know if he is, is he the demon that is in Tokyo? You know what I mean? Like, is he is he the demon? We don't know. We don't know. I mean, why would they send him there to go fight Muzan? And he's a basically a rookie. He's like the lowest rank in the Demon Corps. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know about all that. But anyways, guys, um, 
it was a very good two episodes we just we just watched man we learned a lot um so i'm looking forward to more from demon slayer of course this this these um these episodes are good because they're setting the foundation for i'm guessing there's going to be some real epic moments later on in the season so they're setting the foundation very good and that's why i say i love animes that do this they're setting the foundation early but not too slow you get what I'm saying? So people lose interest. It's kind of moving along at a very, very good pace. I like the pacing of this anime. Not A lot is not being revealed, but there's still um, a lot is not being revealed. As in, there's a lot of mystery to what's going on right now. Like got you thinking like what could possibly the possibilities that could that could happen um, later on for the season. I'm pretty sure that. You know, the manga is way ahead of where the anime is. You know, nowadays, anime is not really doing week for week. I think it's um, um, anime. I think One Piece is the only one that's like continuous week for week with a ton of filler. Of course, um, I, I don't know. There's not a lot of anime that's, that's really doing going right through the year week for week for week for week doing episodes anymore like a lot of the anime that that we get now is like okay we're gonna give you 12 episodes or 20 24 episodes you know for the season and then you gotta wait for a year for the next season to come out a lot of animes are doing that now so a lot of the popular ones i should say so um, i'm looking forward to that i don't know um bleach returns next year so if I don't know. There, there might be a delay because of, you know, situations that are going on now. There might be a delay. We don't know. But hopefully there isn't a delay. Even if it's going to be a delay, it's not going to be a, a, a bunch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think they're going to push it all the way back to 2022, you know, because that would be a little bit too excessive, in my opinion. Um, as I said, depending on how this pandemic goes over, if it, you know, if if things get better by say august september i think we sh they should still be able to drop it in 2021 but we'll see but that's my opinion definitely when bleach come back it will be on this channel i will be reacting to the last arc of bleach when it comes back because you know everybody gonna be on it so i gotta be on it and it's one of my favorite animes of all time so i definitely be on that um so yeah Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like before you leave. Leave a comment in the comment section. Just know that the other videos, if you're watching this and wondering why my other, um, the earlier um, episodes one through five is not up yet, is not back up or they're not up. You can't see them. It's because I've put them on private because I didn't want to get any more strikes on the channel. But I am going to re-upload them without the footage on YouTube. I said that in the intro already. Um, so just to let you know okay so subscribe if you're new um just know that i will have those up very soon okay this was pretty cool two episodes and i enjoyed it very much thank you guys again peace